Okay, that taping took a lot longer than expected, but check it out. Oh yeah. Now it's time to figure out how we're gonna shoot some giant Nerf darts out of the world's biggest cardboard Nerf gun. Then all you have to do now is grab the giant Nerf dart, shove it in, load up the Nerf gun. Will it work though is the question shares. Comment right now, hashtag Nerf if you think it's gonna work. Carter's Nerf gun worked earlier when we shot it. But his barrel is a lot bigger, so there's plenty of room for the Nerf dart to move around. My barrel is a lot, a lot tighter. There's not much room for the Nerf dart to move around. It might be better for the Nerf dart, it might not be. I don't know, Sharers, but this, this is my idea on how to get it to fire today. So come right now, Sharers, hashtag Nerf if you think it's gonna work. Let's load it up and let's do it. Here we go. Here we go, firing in three, two, one, go! Whoa! Whew. What a rainy day it is today. But that's not gonna stop us. In fact, Shares, that is gonna allow us to work on our epic cardboard Nerf gun mod. That's right, a long time ago, I built the world's largest cardboard Nerf gun. Check it out. It's got one, two, three, four, five barrels. It's huge, it's got two handles on it. It's stuck back there, because I kind of forgot about it. But after I was watching Carter's vlogs, I realized that he totally built his cardboard Nerf gun, and it looks totally epic. It's red, it's black, it's got a trigger, and the coolest part is it actually fires. Three, two, one, go! Woo! Ah, you hit it! Yeah, Woo! That was awesome! I mean, just look how big that barrel is. You can actually fit inside of it. So that got me thinking, Carter's Nerf gun is built, and fires and all ready to go. And mine is uh in the prototype stages. Shares, we gotta get building this thing. We gotta get this thing colorful. We gotta get this thing locked and loaded and ready to fire. That's right, we got a lot of work to make this cardboard nerf gun work. So first, I guess we gotta get this thing out. It's been uh stuck behind here for a while now because I kind of forgot about it, but let's bring this thing out. Oh yeah, cardboard nerf gun, here we come. Okay, this thing is heavy, this thing is big. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, this thing is huge. Let's get to work. Let's tape this thing. Mmm. What color should we tape it? We got a bunch of duct tape to choose from. I'm thinking since Carter's Nerf gun is orange, oh not orange, whoo, red and black and orange for the handle. I'm thinking we gotta change ours. So let's do, <gasps> let's do some blue, Nerf blue. We'll add some Nerf orange as well. And I think we'll do some Nerf white. Yeah, I think these colors will do. Let's get taping. Okay, that taping took a lot longer than expected, but check it out. Oh yeah. The cardboard Nerf gun is all taped and decorated. It looks so good. I did the Nerf blue with the Nerf orange, because you gotta have the orange tips for the Nerf gun. Then of course you got the orange trigger. And we got some white handles with the black outline. Now it's time to figure out how we're gonna shoot some giant Nerf darts out of the world's biggest cardboard Nerf gun. But first, you know what, it's missing one thing. What is it missing? Oh, that's right, I know. Over to the fan mail desk. Check out this awesome poster we got. It's got the Share the Love logo in it. And that's just what this cardboard Nerf gun is missing. A Share the Love logo, so let's stick it on and let's see how it looks. Oh, there we go. An awesome looking Share the Love logo. I love the background of this. And that's why we love our fan mail. Oh, and speaking of fan mail, Shares, check it out. The fan mail desk is like all completely cleaned off. So Shares, keep sending us stuff so we can open some more epic fan mail and hang it up on our fan mail wall. The fan mail wall is really coming along and looking so good. Oh, and here's the box for it I made last vlog. Oh yeah, rainbow box for it. By the way, if you're wondering, I did get a haircut. Last vlog you told me I needed to get a haircut, so I went and got one. I think it looks pretty good. And speaking of last vlog, I did go to the store to buy some things that I'm thinking is gonna be perfect to shoot some giant Nerf darts out of the cardboard Nerf gun. I just gotta find it. Oh, well I did find the Nerf dart that we're gonna do. Check it out, this is the giant Nerf dart that's gonna go inside this cardboard Nerf gun. Look how big it is, it just fits in. Oh yeah, and then somehow we just gotta get this to fire out like so we got the ammo, but the question is, how are we gonna make the ammo actually fire out? If you take a look, whew, if you take a look at Carter's Nerf gun, he has this huge contraption inside with this bar and everything. It's like a slingshot type of device, and you put that giant Nerf dart in, and then you fling it out of the Nerf gun, and it actually goes flying. Go! Woo! Ah! Should we fire a Nerf dart out of this? Cheers, come right now, hashtag Nerf. If I should launch a dart out of this. Okay, Cheers, I hope you comment on hashtag Nerf because I'm about to fire this thing. Here we go in three, 
two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> Not bad, that was actually so cool. Ooh, I think it was harder to hold that Nerf gun than to fire that Nerf dart out of it. I think Carter's gotta put a handle on this thing so it can stand up on its own. Something like that would be a lot easier. The good thing about mine is I already have a handle in place so I don't have to hold it. I just gotta uh, brace myself for when I do fire something out that doesn't go like and push me back. Now let's check out supplies I got to make that Nerf dart fire out of my gun. I think I'm gonna try a different method. So I went to the store, I got some of these rockets. I feel like a rocket could put a lot of power behind one of these Nerf darts. So let's try this thing. I think this is an air powered rocket. I think this will be perfect to try. Set it down, let's open this up. What is inside this thing? Wow, yeah, quite a lot of pieces. Um, okay, we started building the rocket on the desk, but it ended up being such a long and complicated process that it actually got too big for the table, so we had to bring it down to the floor, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work on the Nerf gun, but we got the rocket. We're gonna stick it on the top like this. I think it's air power, so all we gotta do is pump it, and let's see what happens. So I think we just pump it like this, and I have no idea what is gonna happen. Hmm, maybe this button will do something. Woo! Yeah, that's definitely got a lot of power. Woo! In fact, that's got so much power. Let's take this thing outside and let's see how high that rocket can go. I have a feeling we can somehow mob this rocket to go inside this Nerf gun and connect it to the Nerf dart. This thing is gonna have a lot of power. Woo! It's raining like crazy out, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from firing this rocket outside. We gotta give it an outdoor test. Okay, let's pump this thing. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Rocket versus the infinite sky. Launching in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Woo! Okay! Yeah! That's got some power! The good news is though, the rocket works. It's got a ton of power. The question is though, how can we get these straight tubes all aligned to go inside the Nerf gun? That's gonna be the hard part. We definitely might have to go back to the drawing tables for that one. You know what, Sherry? If you have an idea on how we can get this contraption to fit inside this Nerf gun. Comment your ideas down below or draw a design out and send it to us. We'd love to have your input to see how we can make this thing fire with that device. Yes, Sharers, we rely on your ideas and your creativity, but in the meantime, we can't end the vlog without actually firing this Nerf dart out of this giant cardboard Nerf gun. So you know what? Let's make a contraption that makes it work. And here's what I'm thinking. We've got the top tube on here. It's open, it goes completely back there. So we've got a little hole back here for a little bit of access. I'm thinking, we take this contraption that has a giant rubber band on it with a bar. We'll stick the contraption in, we'll load the Nerf dart in, and we'll give it a test fire. Actually, you know what? Scratch that idea totally. We made all these holes for no reason. I tried it, I stuck the Nerf dart in, but what happens is when you put the bar, it gets stuck there, and then the rubber band's all the way back here. So you pull here, but the rubber band hits here and never fires the Nerf dart. So we're gonna go to step number two. I ended up cutting up here. You lift this up, then you lift this up, you get a whole access cubby right there. And then on the back side here, you get a straight shot through the barrel. Then all that you have to do now is grab the giant Nerf dart, shove it in, load up the Nerf gun, walk around here, you grab the rubber band through this side, you grab it with the Nerf dart, you pull back, oh, it's got tension on it, and then you let go and fire. Will it work though is the question, Shares. Comment right now, hashtag Nerf if you think it's gonna work. Carter's Nerf gun worked earlier when we shot it, but his barrel is a lot bigger, so there's plenty of room for the Nerf dart to move around. My barrel is a lot, a lot tighter. There's not much room for the Nerf dart to move around. It might be better for the Nerf dart, it might not be. I don't know, Shares, but this, this is my idea on how to get it to fire today. So comment right now, Shares, hashtag Nerf if you think it's gonna work. Let's load it up and let's do it. Here we go. Okay, world's been this cardboard Nerf gun test fire in three, two, one, go! Oh, okay. Almost made it out, but definitely not enough power. Let's try that one more time. Test fire number two. Let's load it up. Here we go. Woo! World's biggest cardboard Nerf gun firing in three, two, one, go! Oh, whoa! Okay! Yeah, that definitely worked! And that had a lot of power, but you know what? I think we can go one more time and do extreme power. So let's load it back up. Let's do this third time's the charm. Come on, here we go. Woo, cardboard Nerf gun, let's do this. Here we go, firing in three, two, one, go! Whoa, yeah! Whoa! Oh, yeah! 
Yeah, that was epic! Whoa! Whoa! Yes, Sharers, I am so happy my cardboard Nerf gun works. It actually shoots this giant Nerf dart. Whoa! And we're able to do it all inside on a rainy day. Oh, just wait till the rain stops and we hook it up to this rocket mod. But Shares, we do need your epic ideas on how we can hook it up and make it actually work. So if you haven't already, comment your crazy ideas below or send us an email. Ooh, and you know what else we could do? We could do an epic competition. Carter's cardboard Nerf gun versus my cardboard Nerf gun. Who shoots farther? Ooh, I don't even know. No! Oh yeah, and if you didn't see Carter's vlog, he hooked up rockets to it and actually shot rockets out of it. It was totally crazy. So you gotta go over to his channel right now and check out that video, click the card right there. It is an absolutely insane video and that's why we gotta get our rocket mod hooked up to this Nerf gun. Wow, sure, so many epic projects we're working on, so many epic Nerf mod ideas. Whoa! And you know, if you made it this far in the vlog, congratulations. Come right now, hashtag epic for a chance to enter to win a swag pack. That's right, Shares, and in the next vlog on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be giving out two swag packs. One will go to the first commenter, so set your alarm so you don't miss the vlog. And another swag pack will be going to someone who comments on this video right now, hashtag epic. That's right, Shares, comment your awesome ideas below, and we'll see you in the next vlog on Wednesday at 3 p.m. So until then, you know what to do. Stay awesome and share the love. Peace, woo!